Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here with another repair video for you. Hopefully this one will go quickly. I've been asked about this, well, several times throughout the years and today I have an opportunity to show you how I replace studs on some vehicles uh, when I have an issue. Behind me, a 1996 Acura RL. And removing the wheels, I, well, first of all, it came in with one stud and, and lug completely broken off and then the other stud or the other lug nut had a lot of trouble coming off. So in other words, we have two basically messed up studs on this vehicle. Right, well, as you can see, the broken stud here, um, and here's the stud that uh, has seen a better day. These rest of these studs are normal, so we're gonna leave those alone. But I'm gonna replace this stud and this broken stud. This is where it gets tricky. Now, my methods, well, you may not agree with my methods, but they do work. Uh, especially in situations like this because normally what you'd be faced with is removing this hub assembly replacing the studs and then putting the hub assembly back together now what that might involve is removing the entire steering knuckle assembly uh, so that you could press the whole thing back together and in the process you run the risk of actually damaging the bearing so you might as well at that point put a new wheel bearing in when you do this if you do it that way uh, the way I'm about to show you does work but like I said, you may not agree with my methods, however, they do work. Now, I'll give you sort of a heads up of what's about to happen here. I'm going to knock out this stud for starters, and then we have to get the new stud in. But as you can see, this splash shield on the back here is going to be in the way. The only way to remove the splash shield is with these screws around the outside after the hub is removed. We don't necessarily want to go there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a couple of slits here in this splash shield. I may cut it all the way off. I'm, I'm probably not going to cut it all the way off, but I'm going to cut it. And the reason I'm going to cut it is because if I just bend it, it also deforms everything else around the outside, which could come in contact with the rotor and make a noise. As it is, I'm running that risk anyway. So to minimize that risk, if I'm only bending one area as opposed to the entire area, I think I'll have a much better chance. So I've got my fingers crossed that this will work. If it doesn't, well, it'll be a short video for you. I'm going to start by removing the studs. I'm going to use the air hammer, but if you don't have air tools or an air hammer, you can also use just a regular hammer to knock this thing back through the other way. Okay, so there's our old stud. Now, if we do the same thing to this long stud, it's not going to have enough room to come out. As you can see, we had enough difficulty with this one. So what I'll do before I, I take this out is I will actually cut this down to size before I knock it through. Because I know if it's too long, it's gonna hit up against this splash shield and it's gonna be a problem. And guess what? I am, as I showed during the beginning of this video, wearing my safety glasses. Okay, this next part might seem a little controversial, but as I said, this is the method that I use and have used and have had sex success with in the past. I can say success. <laughs> Here's our new stud. There's the numbers on it, if that means something to you. Because of that little hump on the inside of that knuckle, it's gonna be difficult to get a straight shot with a full long stud. In fact, let me show you that real quick. So as a measure of dealing with this issue, I am going to actually shave down part of this stud so that it slips into place. Now I'm going to have to shave down a good portion of this, in fact more than some of it than some of you might be comfortable with, but that's kind of what I've got to do. You'll notice I've positioned the stud inside my vice grips. I'm not touching the threads. Um, I hope you can sort of see that, that I'm not touching the threads when I do this. You don't want to damage the threads, that's the whole reason why you're here in the first place but I'm going to shave off with this uh, grinder here as much of this stud as I possibly can 
and still have it be a viable stud here. Okay, here we have our finished product. And as I said, some of you may have issue with this. And I understand your concerns because, you know, it's not gonna be able to be held in like it would be normally if I'd remove the hub. But if, unless you wanna remove the hub and possibly replace the wheel bearing, this is how you can do it. But I'm hoping that that angle is enough that I'm actually able to slip the stud into place and uh, get it to go in. So let's go over there and see if we can get this one in. If we can, we can do the same with the other one. Well, here we are, back at the vehicle. I've let my stud cool down a little bit. And I believe we might just be able to make it. As you can see, it took a bit more effort than I thought, and looks like I boogered the threads up a little bit. Well, let's just see if I can still get a lug nut on there. Probably take a, yeah, I can. Probably take a thread file to this and clean these up, and then when I do the next one, probably a steeper angle would be uh, beneficial. But when you're at this point, you've got a couple of different choices. Uh, one of those choices is to take an old lug nut put it on here and tighten it down and draw it up. Every time personally I've tried this method, what's ended up happening is the stud ends up spinning inside the hub. What I like to do instead is I'm just gonna go in with my air hammer and knock it back through the other side. not perfect because uh, I did booger up some of these threads but I believe a little bit of time with the thread file is gonna clean them up nice and that'll be that I will do the same thing with the other stud and away we go we'll uh, actually be able to put the wheel on again with all the studs holding it on I feel a lot more confident with that right cleaned up the threads we can put our lug nuts on now I have actually ended up removing that entire piece uh, that was there and bent everything back into place but uh, I believe we're successful in this endeavor and we're going to be able to put uh, a new lug nuts on our new studs. Yay us, we win. So I merely present this to you as one way to install a stud uh, should you run into this problem. Now, not all vehicles are going to be like this. Some vehicles are easier than others. Some vehicles you can get really nice access uh, to get in there. Some vehicles you can actually remove the wheel bearing hub assembly as an assembly and then do this over on the bench. It's really helpful. As I said, some cases you can actually take a lug nut and put it on there and draw the stud back up through. Personally, I haven't had a lot of luck with that, so I, I like to either use a hammer or an air hammer to install them. Whenever I do that, it seems to work out fine. That's just my personal preference. The takeaway here is this is one way to install uh, a stud. That's pretty much it. Hey, if you have automotive questions, I would ask that you head over to ericthecarguide.com. You know what, when you get there, there's a list of categories of the most popular questions that I've been asked over the past few years. Uh, you might just find an answer rooting through that. If that's not the case, hey, try our search function. Big green box there, type in a couple of keywords, and all the information that we have in our database pertaining to those keywords will come up, and that might just solve your problem. If that still doesn't work, feel free to sign up for our forum. It's absolutely free. All you need is a valid email address. Just be sure to respond to the confirmation email and click the activation link in that in order to complete your registration. Once you've done that, you can post your question over to the uh, service and repair section over on our forum and we'll do our best to help you over there. Other than that, you can connect with me socially on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, and I close with be safe, have fun, and of course, stay dirty and studly.